Good afternoon class. I hope you all are fine at home. Today we are going to start with the GK class and the topic which we are going to discuss today is parliaments of different countries. Here there are different pictures of building and these buildings are the parliament of different countries. You have to identify to which country this parliament belong and by which name it is famous there. For example, the very first picture is of India. And in India, the parliament is known as Sansad. The Sansad Bhavan means the parliament house is the house of the parliament of India, which contains the Lok Sabha and the Raj Sabha located in New Delhi. The parliament has two houses, Lok Sabha, the lower house and the Raj Sabha is also known as the upper house and they are located in New Delhi. Next picture is of China and the parliament in China is known as National People's Congress. See the thing which is written in bold and black color you have to write the same thing in your answer sheet just next to the pictures or below the pictures given you have to identify the pictures and just below the pictures you have to write down the country and the name of the parliament like here this picture is of the parliament of china and it is known as national people's congress the next building is the parliament of russia and it is known as Federal. This building is the Parliament of Russia and it is known as Federal. This building is the Parliament of Denmark and it is known as Falketing. You can see the picture. The picture is the Parliament of Denmark and the, par the name of the Parliament is Falketing. Now, the next picture is the Parliament of Japan and it is known as Diet. This is the building of the Parliament of Japan and Parliament is known in Japan Diet. Now this picture is the Parliament of Bangladesh. This picture is the Parliament of Bangladesh and it is known as Jatiya Sansad. The name of the building is, the name of this parliament is Jatiya Sansad. Next is the parliament of Israel and it is known as Neset. This is the parliament of Israel and it is known as Neset. Next is the picture of the parliament of United States. And it is known as Capitol. This is the picture of the Parliament of United States. And it is known as Capitol. Now this is the Parliament of Britain. House of Lords and House of Commons is the name of the Parliament. This is the Parliament of Britain. And the name of the Parliament is House of Lords and house of commons now moving on to the next chapter the name of the chapter is body works the very first question is this muscle is present at the top of your arm see here the hints are given about the body parts means their work is given and you have to identify the part of the body by the work it does as the very first question shows uh, states this muscle is present at the top of your arm you see your hand and the upper arm the muscles that you gain there what is it called biceps you can clearly see in this picture biceps now the next question is this is the opening through which light can enter your eye this is a small opening through which 
the eye through which the light enters to the eye. See here is the diagram of eye. You can see there the two major parts that is iris and pupil. The colorful part some people have it brown, some people have it light means as compared to the central dark it is lighter right. Some have brown eyes, some have blue eyes right. So uh, here you can see the colored part is iris and the dark black in color part is pupil which which is responsible for the amount of light which is entering in our eye. The next is, this is the colored part of your eye. I have already told you when I was explaining the uh, picture that the colorful part, some have brown color eyes, right? So that colorful part of the eye is iris. The next question, these cells carry oxygen through your body these are the cells which carry oxygen to your body now th this is almost the same shape of that uh, cell and these cells carry blood oxygenated blood to your body and these cells are known as red blood cells you can see that they are red in color so they are red blood cells r e d red B L O O D blood C E L L S cells. Next is this part of the brain controls movement and balance. See the part the brain is divided in different parts and different parts have different roles to play. And we are talking about the part of brain which controls movement and balance. Our, our movement, the body of the movement and the balance. See here the brain is mainly divided in three parts. Cerebrum, cerebellum and pons. Three major parts are cerebrum, cerebellum and pons. So the part which controls the movement and balance is cerebellum. Bellum. The next question is white blood cells are made here. It is the part of the body where white blood cells are made. As like the red blood cells there are white blood cells also in our body. And that part is bone marrow. Inside the bone there is a semi fluid. It is not very much fluid. But semi fluid thing inside our bone which is called bone marrow as you can see clearly in the picture. So bone marrow is the part where white blood cells are produced. The next question. This organ is called the voice box. It helps us to produce sound. Like we speak so the sound the the place from where the sound is produced is known as larynx and it is also known as voice box. See in the picture clearly it is mentioned uh, it is in your throat and from here only you can speak and the voice comes out. So the voice box in your body from where the voice comes out is known as larynx. The next question is raised hair on spots on the skin caused by cold fear or sudden excitement whenever you are in fear or it's very much cold or you're very much excited you get goose bumps g o o s e b u m p s g o o s e b u m p s goose bumps See, like this, your hairs are very much uh, erect and standing po in standing position. And like this, you get goosebumps whenever you are very much excited or in fear or you feel very much cold. Now, the next question. This is largest internal organ in our body. The largest internal organ in our body is liver. The largest internal organ in our body is liver. L-I-V-E 
are in this diagram they are different parts of the body and you can see how liver is located in your body and where it is located is it clear now the next question the smallest bone in our body called the stirrup is present here the smallest bone in our whole body which is named stirrup is present in ear e a r ear now they in the next question they are the largest teeth that do not appear until you are an adult most probably after you are 18 years old these teeth is visible in your mouth see before you are 18 years old it is hidden inside the gums and as you grow into an adult after most probably after 18 years it comes out this is the protective coating that encloses most nerve fibers inside your brain there are several nerve cells right and these cells are in the uh, shape of in the form of fibers and this is the sheet which coats that fiber it is myelin sheet it is myelin sheet m y e l i n s h e a t h this is a nerve cell present in your brain right and it is and the fibrous part is covered with a sh shield and that shield is known as myelin sheet now the next chapter is of champions of change see here two chapters i had already missed i had not put that in the video because we are going to uh, do those chapters in an activity form right so don't panic that i have left a page we are going to do it in the form of an activity now the next chapter is champions of change see why this chapter is known as champions of change because the people who are mentioned here have brought a good change in the society they have fought against the ill factors which were present in the society and they have brought a good change which, which was for the betterment of the society so let's find out what they did the very first person he challenged traditional Hindu culture, denounced the caste system and formed the Brahmo Samaj. A Hindu reformist, his efforts led to the prohibition of the custom of Sati. See, he was the person who formed Brahmo Samaj and he ended up with the Sati system. But now what is Sati system? Early when the husband died the uh, widow or the wife of that dead husband was made to compelled and made to sit on the pyre the funeral pyre along with the husband and he was and that uh, lady was set fire on the pyre right so now this man helped those women and tried to abolish that system जिसमें जब पति मर जाता है तो उसकी वाइफ को उसी की चिता पे बैठा करके उसमें दाह संस्कार करते हैं। But this was the person who tried to abolish sati, and his name is Raja Ram Mohan Roy. He was one of the founders of the Brahmo Sabha, the precursor of the Brahmo Samaj, a social religious reform movement in Indian subcontinent here in India. He gave a reform movement and in that movement he abolished Sati system and found Brahmo Samaj. He was given the title of Raja by Akbar to the Mughal Emperor. Now the next person is his efforts led to legalization of widow remarriage in India. He promoted the education of girls and strongly opposed ch child marriage and polygamy. See, he, what did he do is, he promoted widow remarriage. Means, who is widow who doesn't have a husband? That means, the husband is 
dead. So now he what he did is he wanted to bring a change in the life of those widows and promoted widow remarriage in India. He also promoted education among girls. Earlier girls were not allowed to get education. So he promoted education in girls and strongly opposed child marriage. He was very much against about the child marriage because earlier children used to get means uh, very small kids used to get married and polygamy. Polygamy is having more than one wife. Now he is Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar. The name of this reformer is Ishwar Chand Vidya Sagar. Right? Now, the next picture, the next uh, champion, he made efforts to combine Indian spirituality with Western material progress and dedicated his life towards elimination of child marriage and literacy in India. He strongly promoted education among women and lower caste. He was mainly known for the abolition, the abolition of child marriage and he promoted literacy in India. He strongly promoted education among women. Women were not getting education so he supported this fact and lower caste were also discriminated and were not given education so he also promoted education among lower caste his name is swami vivekanand he founded ram krishna mat and the ram krishna mission and he is very much famous for his speech which he gave in america and he began like means the starting of that speech was sisters and brothers of america right and where did he deliver that speech in the Parliament of World's Religions in Chicago in 1893. Now the next champion is she dedicated her life for charity work and to look after the sick and the poor. In 1979 she was awarded Nobel Peace Prize. Now she is Mother Teresa. She is the nun who became a saint very uh, recently she was uh, given that uh, saint tag during her lifetime mother teresa became famous as a catholic nun who dedicated her life to caring the destitute and dying in the slums of calcutta now known as kolkata in 1979 she received the nobel peace prize and after her death was canonized as saint teresa I means that tag giving the tag of saint is canonizing and she uh, sacrificed her life she devoted her life for the betterment of the people of Calcutta who were living in slums and who were in very miserable condition she spent her life in taking care of such people now the next champion he gave up his legal career to devote his life to take care of leprosy patients Later, he founded an ashram dedicated to the treatment and rehabilitation of these patients. He was the man who means leprosy is a skin disease and people used to be very, means run away from these people who have leprosy. But he was the only person who used to take care of such patients and he uh, founded an ashram also where such uh, patients can be treated, right? He is Baba, he was B, Baba Amte, right? Uh, originally, his name is Murli Dhar Devidas Amte, but he is famous by his name Baba Amte, right? He was an Indian social worker and the social activist known particularly for his work for the rehabilitation and empowerment of the people suffering from leprosy. The last champion. He fought against child labor and advocated the universal right of education. He founded the Bachpan Bachao Andolan. He was awarded by the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014. Mother Teresa got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. And this person, his name is Kailash Satyarthi. He won the 
Nobel Peace Prize in 2014. And why he won the Nobel Peace Prize? Because he fought against child labor. This 1098 number, which you all know that if anyone is uh, any one is exploiting the ch children, and you can call them, and they're going to take care of uh, these kind of children. He is the founder of that organization, and he founded the Bachpan Bachao. Andolan. Kera Satyarthi is an Indian social reformer who campaigned against child labor in India and elsewhere and advocated the universal right to education and he tried to give the right to education. Now what is right to education? The children below 14 years old, those who are 14 years old and below 14 years old have the right to get free education and his name is Kailash Satyarthi. Now the rest of the chapters which I have left in between, there are two chapters which I have left. We will be discussing it through an activity. Thank you and take care.